After years of waiting, the Holy Gospel has finally returned with a certain magical index NT, otherwise known as New Testament. I honestly thought this day would never come, but thank goodness Yen Press have released the first volume wow. of a certain magical index NT last month, where we can finally continue the story beyond the anime and volume 22 of Old Testament to see what happens with the story of index. A certain magical index seamlessly blends both fantasy and sci-fi in a parallel world very similar to our own, as magic and science collide and have engaged in a world war against each other, and NT occurs in the aftermath of such an earth-shattering conflict. While it is a sequel to the original light novel series, you can actually pick up NT even if you haven't read any of Old Testament or even seen the anime, as the author Kamachi Kazuma does help the reader if you are brand new to the series by explaining what has happened prior in the story, without going too much into info dump territory. And I think it's great that he actually does this, as it acts as the gateway for new fans to get into the series without having to read 22 books prior. You know enough context to get through this story without having to read them, trust me. And at the same time, if you are a super fan of the novels, then of course, this is a no-brainer. Or if you have only seen the anime, you will definitely have enough context to get through New Testament. I think NT1 does indeed appeal to all three audiences, which is a massive plus for the book. Credit to Kamachi. But I'm sure you're all dying to know, where does the story leave off after season three of the anime? Well, if you've seen Index 3, you will know that Kamijo Toma survives World War 3. We weren't meant to know that information yet. Well done, JC staff. You were meant to keep that secret. God damn it. Nevertheless, NT Volume 1 is a science side only volume. So if you love Accelerator and Hamazura, you definitely will enjoy this volume. After the insanity of World War 3, where Accelerator and Hamazura went on deep personal journeys in Russia, they emerge out of the war as new people. Both have seemingly left the criminal dark side of Academy City and are trying to come to terms with their new lives now that we have peace in Academy City and the world. Accelerator, the strongest esper in Academy City and a former mass murderer of clones, now has redeemed himself in a way and now has the loving family he desired. While Hamazura is with his girlfriend Takitsubo and the former members of the criminal organization known as Item, Hamazura has managed to bargain with Academy City to no longer try to kill him and now he's trying to find some normality in his life by finding a new job and protecting his girlfriend. But of course, peace does not last forever, as the remnants of the dark side emerge with a new group known as the Freshmen attempt to bring chaos to Academy City by targeting Fremea Savalin, who has a link to both Hamazura and Accelerator. And if you think Fremea looks familiar, as well as her last name, there's a reason for that. Yes, she is Frenda's younger sister. What I most like about NT1 is how it blends the quirky slice of life moments with the dynamic characters with the more serious fights later on. As there are many deadly futuristic killing machines in this volume that the main characters get to fight against. And those battles involve a lot of strategy and tactics, which I really appreciate. The most powerful theme of NT1 is that Pamazura and Accelerator are both trying to move on from their past mistakes and flawed selves. Accelerator now uses his power to protect others as he has turned his back on the dark side of the city and will do anything to prevent it from re-emerging for both himself and his newfound family. And he is well aware that he was ultimately the one who killed Fremea's guardian and the former leader of skill out, Kumabaritoku. Therefore, he feels obliged to protect Fremea and make amends for the past. While Hamazura is forced back into trouble when he wanted to directly avoid it for the people close to him. But since Fremea represents both the legacy of her sister Frenda and Hamazura's best friend Kamaba, he feels he has no choice but to protect her. Fremea represents the beacon of hope and innocence in a post-war world. She is oblivious of the fate of both her sister and Kamaba as she is completely removed from the affairs of the dark side. Hamazura and Accelerator wanted to keep it that way, where kids like Fremea can have a bright future without suffering, as they know exactly what the worst aspects of life in Academy City can bring. 
I think it's a beautiful message and really fitting for the first volume of the sequel to OT. It's never easy to restart a series from the beginning, especially after World War Three of all things. So the stakes are going to be lowered temporarily in order for things to get built up later on. And I feel like Kamachi does a great job at presenting Academy City post World War Three. As with a series so focused on action, we don't actually get to see them often enjoy their lives and live in peace for once, interacting with characters in wholesome and funny ways. And there is the charm to that for sure. Like after all the hardship and hells Hamazura and Accelerator have gone through in Old Testament and in the anime, they deserve a goddamn break. So does Toma, but that's never happening. He's always fighting magicians or espers. But of course, if it was just slice of life only, I don't think many fans of Index would enjoy that. So there is a lot of action in the second half of the novel. So it appeases both camps. And of course, I have to give a shout out to Misaka Worst, the best girl of the volume by far. I love her interactions with Accelerator so much. Their chemistry is just off the charts, in my opinion. They just have a great dynamic. And I just wish we saw more of them later on in New Testament. But rereading this made me appreciate it yet again. While the two of them were enemies in Russia, they are once again allies, as now Worst has been accepted into Accelerator's family. But at the same time, there is still some animosity between them, which prompts Worst to tease him many, many times. I ship it. Those of you who have read the official translation of Old Testament should know that similar terminology is used in NT as well. And to be honest, to keep it consistent with OT, I think that's probably the best decision. But as new character groups and terms are introduced to the later volumes of NT, I'm curious what choices will be used for the translation of them. One thing I would have liked to have seen with NT is having the full New Testament title on the volume as i'm not sure why this decision was made whether it was because oh it's too bible like but going off the omnibus like that's called old testament so i don't know why this could have been called new testament i guess because of the logo on the japanese nt volumes it's pretty small so i don't know if that is the inspiration as to why as new testament in the japanese books have two kanji and in the English one, it's two letters. So that's probably why. But yet again, if I was like um, a newcomer to the franchise and I just saw NT, I wouldn't know what that stood for unless I like Googled it or something. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to have seen it, but it's a minor thing. It doesn't bother me too much. Overall, I'm delighted this has come out in English and it was honestly a pleasure to reread it once again. It made me remember things that I had forgotten because the last time I read NT1 was like years ago. So it, it was honestly refreshing to read things and remember certain character moments and scenes and stuff which I just completely erased from my memory for whatever reason. It was like reading it from the very beginning once again. So if you have read it before in the past, I still recommend picking it up. And I do have affiliate links down below in the description and the pinned comment if you want to support the channel and also pick up this as well which obviously helps support the series for future releases and it's always a pleasure to support the mad genius kamachi kazuma because he deserves it and let me know what you think about the actual volume itself and of course a massive shout out to the people over at yen press you guys are awesome and i really appreciate you for releasing nt in english you have made the index fandom very happy make sure you check out my review of the ot omnibus on screen right now for more index reviews and content See you all next time. Bye-bye.